so this is what is it today's September 1st and I'm pretty much doing the last little bit that I need to do before bow season opens I'm in Michigan so it opens October 1st it's very hot and uh, I got Noah out here with me he's running the camera he's gonna start running the weed whacker here in a minute this is just a little clover patch and one thing I've learned when I'm doing these small pieces is you need you need food year-round or as close to it as you can otherwise you know there's a lot better habitat around here a lot better cover a lot better everything but there's also a lot more hunting pressure so what I'm trying to do is give them something you know especially in the summer that they'll eat and they haven't been hitting this clover at all much this summer until the last couple weeks and they've really mowed it down but I'm just using the weed whacker to get rid of some of the weed competition that was in here we have a little bit larger patch that Noah's going to start whacking here in a minute I'm taking the tractor and the disc and I'm disking up for the fall plots yes it is a little bit late you know September 1st but I don't really care I'm going to plant a lot of oats and some brassica and when we get up there I'm going to show you the, the cornfield that we got going too so I'm not going to feed the deer throughout the winter there's not enough acreage here so I want something that they're going to be using particularly in bow season because during gun season I pretty much want to leave this place completely alone it's so small um, you can't do a whole lot on it and when gun season when there's going to be 20 30 people within you know a couple hundred yards of this place this is where I want the deer to get into so that's why I'm really enhancing the cover and to hunt them it's going to have to be during bow season so we're going to mosey up to the other clover plot we'll show you the cornfield and a little bit about how I laid it out so that we can actually hunt this place you know effectively even though it's only 17 acres <laughs> So this is the bigger clover patch and uh, this is actually where we got a photo of the first good buck that we've ever gotten a picture of on this place. We've owned it three years now. This will be the third hunting season, but really the, the second real hunting season. The first year, you know, we didn't get it till a couple weeks before the season opened, but you can see I got the corn right behind me. I don't know exactly how much there is. There's maybe an acre and it just kind of weaves through everything that I do in my food plots and my access points and my stands I'm trying to follow the contours of the land and you know maximize the cover as much as I could this is a non GMO corn I didn't use any roundup on it for specifically because I wanted it for cover I wasn't sure that it was gonna get ears now everybody told me you know you'll never be able to grow corn in this type of dirt and if you do grow corn it won't get ears and it really won't amount to much well they were wrong 100% wrong it's awesome it's full of weeds there's a lot of it there's tons of ears thousands of ears most of them are pretty small it's still developing it's hot this week they're still gonna grow I don't know how much bigger they're gonna get but I have some media you know quite a lot of medium sized ears and it's probably because I overseeded I broadcast it again I was told you can't broadcast corn it won't grow it's all garbage it grew just fine but I might have overseeded because I was trying to compensate for the fact that I was broadcasting and the turkeys were in here like crazy eating it and they, they didn't eat as much as I want as I thought so I might have overseeded but there's a lot of cover in this there's a lot of corn we have jumped a pretty decent buck out of here uh, last week when we we're doing some work in this clover we got a picture of a nice buck everything's starting to come together the last thing I got to do is finish disking up this one other plot I have two food plots that I have to plant and I'll get those planted within the week but here's a good tip this clover patch which really is nice um, I've, that's like the second time I've done any sort of mowing to it but this was a food plot the first year we had it and it was brassicas and turnips and all that other stuff that doesn't really work in my opinion but I added clover to that blend and from now on going forward every food plot blend I plan is going to have clover in it because I decided not to plant this every year and left the clover if I don't plant clover right now I don't have that option next year because if you plant in the spring it really doesn't do as well as a fall planting. It doesn't hurt anything to have the clover in there, your turnips and everything will still grow just fine, but they'll act as a cover crop, a nurse crop for that clover. The other thing is, I want something growing in these plots all the time because when I go to disc them, as you'll see, I'm disking everything under. Um, and that is what's gonna build the organic matter because this is not good soil. Um, the pH was really low, I've added lime, the organic matter was really low. This is gonna take some time, but 
everything that I put in here is gonna stay. The corn will stay. I'll end up chopping it or, or rototilling it in, trying to build the organic matter in this soil. And even though everybody told me none of this would work, every bit of it's working so far. And the buck that we have on camera this year, maybe I'll never see him, maybe we won't actually get to hunting, but 17 acres, a buck like that, something's working.